Joe, tell me about Mr. Franklin's overheating problem now that we've got the cylinder head off. What's your, what's your opinion on that? Well, originally, when I took the water pump off, I wanted to see if there was any cavitation going on inside the, the block. And the impeller on the water pump was plugged up with sediment and some corrosion from just the age corrosion in the cooling system. And it like settled in the back of the water pump impeller. And what that does is it, it allows the flow to be a lot more reduced from what it should be. And it doesn't cool the block as much. And, and I was looking around inside the cavity of the head where the water pump sits, and there was a lot of corrosion inside of it. And I felt at that time it was probably a really good idea to investigate the block. And that's when we got the okay to take the head off and investigate. These water jackets were filling up with sediment. Okay. These are head bolt holes. Yeah, but did in you? these... Did you blow them out? Oh yeah, I had to clean all this stuff up. It was okay. plugged up. The middle one wasn't as bad because this is connected to this pipe right here. It allows it to flow into the radiator, which there is sediment in the radiator too. It just flows down there and settles to the bottom. Okay, so it looks to me like we had uh, significant sediment buildup in the radiator and in the block. Yep. So it's we've got here. a new radiator coming. Right. New radiator's here. Yep. And then we have a block that was uh, sediment heavy, which you've now cleaned out so we'll have coolant flow, right. but having taken the head off, now we've got other concerns, correct? Right. Now, part of block preparation, you've got to make sure that the block is not warped from heat because we're not sure how hot it got. An inline four can warp here on these yeah. ridges, and there's no way you could actually say, I, I rebuilt my engine or put a head gasket on it with a, a block on it because it's just going to happen again. You're wasting right. money, wasting well, time. Well, yeah, but this this engine's been overhauled before. Look, yeah. this valve is this, this, this is... this is a 30 overbore right here. 030 is a 30 thousandths overbore. These okay. pistons not stock. This valve is was burnt. This is the only valve that sticks out from the rest of them. Um, and yeah, they've got, they've got uh, exhaust valve markings. Yeah. And that's a, that's a, that's a replacement valve. That that's a replacement. Oh, okay. And you can see that this piston, which is a 30 overboard too, has severe detonation going on in here. These little pits is the aluminum melt melting and going down the exhaust stroke. So this cylinder got really hot at one point in time. I'm not sure if it's ignition lead or if it's just high detonation from either okay. uh, carbon or... Right, but we could... All right, so he's at, he's at a crossroads here. We could put it back together and right. it will run. And yep. it will run probably better than it did before and it's not going to overheat. However, overheat. he's got... Uh, I mean, in... in uh, we could make a parade car or go for ice cream car out of it, but it's not going to be optimal in terms of longevity. At this point, He's got it's not much more to go the extra mile and fix the engine by yeah. looking at it from this point of view. We're here. Uh, I think it'd be worthwhile at this point to either A, have it professionally line honed with new rings at a minimum, that is, if the dimensions will allow you to do that, and if there's no taper on the cylinder, or go one step further, and if the machine shop cannot do that, you'd have to replace the pistons. I, I don't think we'll have a problem with the crankshaft, the rods, etc. It's not a major overhaul. This is kind of like a, a freshening up, and, and I know the valve seats are compromised because when I was cleaning the block, block up, air, air pressure was coming past the seats. And really, you had you, through uh, you had. Leakage air. through closed valve. Oh yeah. Okay. This this pitting right here is all from detonation. This isn't rust. This is actually the block decaying from temperature, excessive temperature from this cylinder. The rest of them don't have that. And what I find funny is this was the exhaust valve out of this whole engine, yeah. coincidentally or not. That's I don't the think one so. That was I, this is the one that was replaced from I think from a lot of heat from the seat. Did you get an? Uh, we got an exhaust manifold solution for that leak he had over here. Yeah, that okay. manifold, the original one, was warped. Okay, and the steer. We got a steering remedy as well, right? Oh we yeah. Got a box. This is going to be all rebuilt. It'll be just like this. Okay. okay. And you said the distributor was a little quirky in the cylinder head. The cylinder head houses a distributor on top. This shaft is what drives the distributor. This spins oh, yeah. off of the oil pump, drive off the crankshaft. Yeah. On the can shaft. And is it not, well, it's not rotating? The it has to be rotating. The distributor wobbles in the bore of the head, which oh. I kind of wonder if, if it wobbles and it favors one side of it because of the bushing play inside the distributor, I'm kind of wondering if the spark lead 
here is what's causing the detonation. Let's say it fires these cylinders at the right time, but one, instead of a perfect circle, if it, circle it in the distributor shaft, if it's worn at all, it can cause spark scatter to occur. And I still, I know this was rebuilt. I don't know why, I don't have enough evidence yet, why the detonation reoccurred on, on pistons that have already been replaced. And this valve was replaced, I don't know why detonation is still occurring in this well, cylinder. It's probably the distributor. It's probably. Yeah, okay. All right, so we got some questions. All right, I'll, I'll want to send him um, a note and give him an idea about the crossroads here. We we, uh, <laughs> we can put it back together. It'll run, yeah. but um, maybe not the best preservation decision if he wants to keep this thing for another 20 years and right, I agree. enjoy it without issues. I think if we put more modern parts in it nowadays, today, they have so much. They have a lot of support for this stuff out there. Yeah. You know? They have better the, ignitions. Uh, they have all six volt, you don't have to convert it, but the, the rest of the truck is just, it's so nice, it'd just be a shame to put a, a bad heart back together, you know? Yeah. I'm not sure we refer to it as a truck, Joe. It's a car. Car, Model A. 